Begin tonight overseas, Eastern Europe, Ukraine. Tensions continue to rise after a NATO summit today where leaders decided to make Ukraine a no-fly zone. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky took to Facebook today to call NATO leaders weak. They decided against a no-fly zone. President Joe Biden remains firm in his position. The United States will not engage with Russia in a war. Russian President Vladimir Putin says he has no bad intention toward neighboring countries. Ukrainian authorities have released video from inside the control room of the nuclear power plant where there was a fire in the area followed by the attack of Russian troops. Europe's largest nuclear plant was taken over by Russian forces late on Thursday. A U.S. Department of Energy official said Friday sensors around the plant do not indicate radiation leakage. As the chaos continues in Eastern Europe, a man from Cleveland, Tennessee is on the ground there trying to help. Mike Hall is in Ukraine collecting donations from his former neighbors for his new ones. Liam Collins has how you can help. Mike Hall started working with the Bradley County Sheriff's Office and the Salvation Army here in Chattanooga, all to collect much needed supplies for his new friends and neighbors while they fight for their freedom. It's fluid, it's changing every minute. Between the now daily attacks in Ukraine, Mike Hall is trying to lend a helping hand. Because I've had so many people say, hey, how can we join the fight? How can we help? How can we support? How can we get things? He lived in Ukraine for a year before the attacks. He moved there as a consultant for the U.S. Department of Justice. Since then, he's gotten to know his new neighbors about as well as his old ones in the Tennessee Valley. These are my friends. These are people that I, I have close ties to. I, I know their wives and their children. I, I know them. He was able to flee the capital city of Kyiv after the attacks, but he says his daughter's boyfriend stayed to provide medical needs to people hiding out in subways now being used as bomb shelters. He also had to give his dog to a family friend. He brought that dog from Cleveland. The mother sent me a message and said, uh, oh man, your dog's an angel because uh, because your dog, my, my, my daughter's, they stopped crying and they, they're, not as, uh, they're not afraid anymore. So. Hall got in touch with his old co-workers at the Bradley County Sheriff's Office, the agency, and the Salvation Army in Chattanooga started collecting supplies Hall says his new friends needed. In crisis, people take advantage of it. So I thought, well, we'll give it to the sheriff, and people trust a law enforcement agency. Hall says it's the least he can do for the people he's grown so close to while they fight for their home and fight for their lives. Uh, it's, it's the most patriotic thing I've ever witnessed in my life. It's, and this is kind of their moment to, to, uh, to strike out and stay free. You can donate needed supplies like food, sleeping bags, and cots directly through the Bradley County Sheriff's Office or through the Salvation Army location in Chattanooga on Macaulay Avenue. You can also donate directly through their Amazon wish list. You can find a link to that inside the Local 3 News app. In Chattanooga, Liam Collins, Local 3.